In 2021, large groups of workers began arriving at high altitudes in the mountains, accompanied by dozens of trucks carrying various equipment, tools, and thousands of tons of concrete. Yes, China had embarked on yet another mega project, this time under exceptionally challenging conditions. From earthquakes and harsh weather to the inherent dangers of high altitude construction, every obstacle has been part of the project from the very beginning. But this is China, a nation renowned for its ability to build the extraordinary, even in the face of extreme challenges. And since Chinese mega projects never fail to captivate, we can't miss the opportunity to discuss what they've undertaken this time and how they tackled the difficulties along the way. The project began in Guizhou, a province that can be described in one word, mountains, or more aptly, many mountains. Everywhere you look, towering peaks dominate the landscape. From a satellite view, it's nearly impossible to find a single flat area in the province. With an average elevation of around 3,600 feet, mountains and hills cover an astonishing 92.5% of Giju. But it's not just the mountains that captivate. There are even pyramid-like formations in the area. These fascinating structures stir the imagination, adding to the province's diverse and rugged landscape. However, if you thought these formations were man-made like the Egyptian pyramids, you'd be mistaken. They are ancient limestone formations, over 200 million years old, formed in a marine environment. Guizhou is a province of mountains. The terrain here isn't merely rugged, it's extreme. Almost every mountain range features steep slopes, dramatic cliffs, and countless waterfalls plunging from thousands of feet. A true paradise for extreme sports enthusiasts. And yes, this ambitious project will introduce even more opportunities for thrilling adventures. Just imagine the thrill and challenge the construction workers must feel while building in such extreme conditions, but we'll get to that later. For now, it's worth noting that, besides its vast number of mountains, Guizhou is also home to an impressive 984 rivers. Together, these rivers carry a staggering 30 trillion gallons of water. And you know what happens when powerful rivers flow through towering mountains? Energy. Guizhou's rivers have an energy generation potential, ranking it sixth in China. While not all of this can be harnessed, the province still manages to utilize 16.8 million kilowatts, accounting for 4.4% of China's total hydroelectric capacity. Numerous hydroelectric plants have already been built in the region, including the remarkable Gupatan plant, which features a shiplift system that raises vessels an astonishing 653 feet over a mountain. Yes, in a province dominated by endless mountain ranges, even ship lifts need to defy gravity. With such vast energy resources, you might expect Guizhou to be a hub of economic prosperity and high living standards. However, the mountains, while great for hydroelectric power, pose significant challenges for nearly everything else, making development a constant uphill battle. To put things into perspective as of 2023, Guizhou's per capita disposable income stood at $27,988, making it the second lowest in China. Meanwhile, the province's GDP reached $296 billion, ranking 22nd out of 31 provinces. This is particularly frustrating considering Guizhou's ideal agricultural conditions. With an average annual temperature ranging from 50 degrees Fahrenheit to 68 degrees Fahrenheit, a frost-free period lasting 250 to 300 days, and a climate free from extreme winter cold or scorching summer heat, the region is well suited for farming. Rainfall is also sufficient, perhaps not as perfect as in China's most fertile southeastern regions, but still highly favorable. Of course, large-scale agriculture is nearly impossible in the mountains, but other industries that require less flat land could be developed. However, even that comes with its own set of challenges. The real issue isn't just the landscape, it's mobility. Getting around such rugged terrain is difficult, and since the workforce is the backbone of any economy, this poses a significant obstacle. 
As of 2022, Guizhou had a population of 38.5 million, comparable to the entire populations of Canada, Poland, Malaysia, or Morocco. A striking example of how difficult transportation is in the region and how it affects economic development can be seen in the story of a resident from the village of Heian. This farmer grows vegetables that need to be sold in a neighboring village, but getting there requires crossing a river. His solution? A zip line, a simple cable with a harness, pulley, and handle. A risky journey, especially at high altitudes, and made even more challenging by the fact that he had to carry his goods on his back, increasing the chances of losing something valuable along the way. Haiyan itself is home to over 20,000 households and around 100,000 residents, yet for years they were virtually isolated. Their only options were to zip line across the river or rent a boat, both of which were time consuming and impractical. With mountains surrounding them, building proper roads was nearly impossible. But everything changed with the construction of a bridge. Suddenly, residents had access to proper transportation, motorcycles, cars, and new economic opportunities. Some even saw their incomes rise dramatically, earning as much as 60,000 yuan, about $8,700. It was a transformation that proved how crucial infrastructure is in breaking down barriers and unlocking economic potential. Bridges are exactly what Giju needs to overcome its geographical challenges. They can open up access to areas suitable for at least some industrial development or organized farmland. But more importantly, they provide a way for people to navigate the rugged landscape of mountains, cliffs, and fast-moving rivers. One major step toward improving Giju's infrastructure is this incredible engineering project. Construction began in 2021, right above the Huajiang Gorge, where the Beipan River flows beneath it. Take a look at this. How high do you think the structure is? If the number 2,000 feet came to mind, you're spot on. That's the height separating the bridge deck from the bottom of the canyon. To put it into perspective, stacking two Eiffel Towers on top of each other would still leave them just 1,155 feet taller. This bridge is already a world record holder, but the builders wanted something even more spectacular. To achieve this, they opted for a rigid steel truss bridge with a main span of 4,660 feet, breaking records in Gijou and surpassing the Humber Bridge in the UK, which was once the longest suspension bridge in the world. Once completed, which is expected in 2025, the bridge will stretch 9,500 feet in total with over two dozen spans, each measuring 130 feet long. This monumental structure is set to redefine transportation in the region, proving once again that no challenge is too great for Chinese engineering. Chinese engineers didn't overlook aesthetics either. They aimed to give the bridge a classic, timeless design. Whether they succeeded is subjective, as tastes vary, but doesn't the structure remind you of another famous bridge? Look closely. Yes, it bears a striking resemblance to San Francisco's Golden Gate Bridge, at first glance, the construction process might seem effortless. After all, China is known for completing massive infrastructure projects at record speeds. However, building this bridge over the Huajian Gorge was anything but easy. For starters, constructing a structure at such an extreme height is both impressive and incredibly dangerous for the workers involved. Safety was a top priority, and the Chinese ensured that every worker was protected through rigorous safety measures and multiple insurance policies. Still, after the initial assessments, it became clear that this project would require far more effort than expected. One major challenge was the uneven terrain. The slopes on either side of the gorge were vastly different, requiring additional equipment and resources. On the northern slope, engineers had to construct a concrete tower standing 860 feet tall, while the one on the opposite side was 670 feet high, a 190-foot difference. These adjustments added to the project's complexity, but the result will be a world record-breaking engineering marvel. Even with extensive safety gear, workers couldn't be 100% certain that everything would go smoothly. 
they were likely reminded that geological activity in the province hasn't stopped since these massive mountains first formed. While Gizhou isn't as seismically active as Japan, the region still experiences earthquakes. According to earthquake tracking data, in the past year alone, there have been eight tremors in the province, with magnitudes ranging between 4.0 and 5.2. Looking further back, we see even more significant seismic events. In 2012, a 5.7 magnitude earthquake struck Guizhou, causing 80 fatalities, over 700 injuries, and the evacuation of more than 100,000 people including residents of neighboring Yunnan province, which was also affected. Then in 2014, another earthquake hit both Yunnan and Guizhou. While Yunnan bore the brunt of the disaster, with over 360 casualties, Guizhou also felt the tremors. This history of moderate to strong earthquakes makes construction in the region particularly risky, especially when building a massive suspension bridge. With such a high and complex structure, even minor seismic activity can pose serious challenges, adding another layer of difficulty to an already ambitious project. Another major challenge is the climate, particularly the conditions at the construction site. According to Aliak, a Stockholm-based company that supplied equipment for the project, the bridge is being built on a high-altitude plateau, which causes significant temperature fluctuations between day and night. This, in turn, increases the likelihood of strong convective weather and persistent winds year-round, adding yet another layer of difficulty to the project. Despite the mounting challenges, the Chinese have once again proven their resilience. So far, no major accidents have been reported, at least none found in publicly available sources. The most recent update, as of January 20th, 2025, confirms that the final section of the steel truss, an enormous 215-ton structure, has been put in place, marking 80% project completion. The last phase involves installing the panel segments between the trusses, with full completion expected in the second half of 2025. Given the sheer scale of the project and the $280 million investment, there's little doubt that the bridge will be finished on schedule despite the extreme conditions it has faced along the way. The Huajian Gorge Bridge is set to bring significant benefits to Guizhou, with the most obvious being major infrastructure improvements. As we've discussed, the province's lack of efficient transportation has hindered economic growth, but this bridge will help change that. Once completed, it will strengthen economic ties between Guiyang, Anshun, and Changshunan by allowing goods, people, and vehicles to move freely across the massive canyon. Currently, there are bridges like the impressive Duj Bridge, but the nearest crossing is at least 124 miles away. While there are other routes, even the shortest journey across the canyon takes around 70 minutes. With the new bridge in place, the same trip will take just two minutes, a game changer for transportation efficiency. Beyond saving travel time, the improved infrastructure is also expected to help reduce poverty, not just by accelerating trade and daily commutes, but also by boosting tourism, opening up new economic opportunities for the region. Many people in Guizhou have long recognized that tourism is a valuable source of income, leading many locals to work as tour guides, offer accommodations, and sell souvenirs and other goods. In 2023, the province welcomed 1.3 million visitors, and from January to August 2024, there was an 11% increase in tourist numbers compared to the previous year. Interestingly, it's not just international travelers. 8.8% of tourists in 2024 were Chinese visitors from other provinces. The Huajiang Gorge Bridge will not only improve accessibility for tourists, but will also become a landmark attraction in itself. After all, who wouldn't want to stop and admire the tallest bridge in the world, built under such extreme conditions? It's a site that's sure to draw countless visitors. But there's more. Plans are in place to fully integrate the bridge into Guizhou's tourism infrastructure. 
A key part of this vision is the Yundo service area, which will be located next to the bridge, offering a blend of natural beauty and modern leisure opportunities, making the entire experience even more appealing for visitors. Now, if you like this video, check out this next video right here.